In this example, I need to find an equation in factored form of a rational function f that satisfies the following conditions. And I'm given information about a vertical asymptote, x-intercept, hole, and a horizontal asymptote. Well, normally in these problems, we're given the rational function and have to come up with this information or graph the function. So in this problem, I'm basically working backwards. I need to find my function f of x that produces these characteristics. So I know f of x is a rational function. And I need to figure out what goes in the numerator and the denominator of this function. Looking at the first piece of information we were given, I have a vertical asymptote when x equals 4. Well, where do we get vertical asymptotes from? It's from looking at the simplified version of the function and we set the denominator equal to 0. So I know I'm going to need a factor in the denominator that goes with this vertical asymptote. So what factor does x equals 4 come from? Well, if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get x minus 4 equals 0. So the factor in the denominator is going to be x minus 4. Next, I know the x-intercept is negative 3, 0. Well, where do x-intercepts come from? They come from setting y equals 0, or in this case, f of x equals 0. And when does a fraction equal 0? When the numerator equals 0. So I'm going to need a factor in the numerator corresponding to this x-intercept. So remember that x-intercept means x equals negative 3. And now if I add 3 to both sides, I get x plus 3 equals 0. So the factor in the numerator that gives me that x-intercept is an x plus 3. Next, I know there is a hole at x equals negative 1. Well, where do holes come from? They come from reducing a common factor between the numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to need the same factor in the numerator and the denominator. And what factor is associated with x equals negative 1? Well, if I add 1 to both sides, I get x plus 1 equals 0. So the common factor in the numerator and the denominator has to be an x plus 1. And lastly, I know the horizontal asymptote has the equation y equals negative 2 fifths. With horizontal asymptotes, there are two cases. One, where the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, that gives you an equation of y equals 0. But if we get an equation of y equals a constant other than 0, that is the case where we need the degree of the numerator and the denominator to be the same. Well, is that true in this case? What's the degree of the numerator? If I foiled out the numerator, the highest exponent on an x would be a 2. So I know the degree of my numerator equals 2. And if I foil out the denominator, the highest exponent on an x is also a 2. So I know the degrees of the numerator and the denominator are both 2. And now I need the ratio of the leading coefficients to be negative 2 fifths. So I need my numerator, I need to multiply by the constant negative 2. And in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by the constant 5. So this is one function with the given characteristics. But don't forget, there are an infinite number of functions for which this is true. Because instead of multiplying by negative 2 fifths, 
I could have multiplied by negative 4 tenths or negative 6 fifteenths or any fraction that reduces to negative 2 fifths. But I think this is the simplest answer to give.